What's your take on Italy? Should we trust the finance minister? He's not in charge. He's been put there, but has the backing of the president. But do we trust him when he says they'll try and comply more with EU rules? Well, try and comply and comply and comply aren't necessarily the same thing. I mean, these are encouraging noises or what everybody wants to hear. The 2.0% number is what everyone wants. So uh, superficially, on the face of it, yeah, this is, this is a welcome development. But you know, as always, the devil's in the details and, and the execution is more important than the intention. But you know, the intention's the, the first step and it's the right one. So happy for now. Okay, uh, until, until what? Are you expecting more volatility in Italy? Can Italy actually, um, you know, we're we going to have an existential question in the next two years about Euro participation? Yeah, I, I mean, there's no big wave of popular support for, uh, within Italy to leave the Eurozone or, or the EU. You know, this is not 2016 UK Brexit all over again, where there clearly was significant public support for it. Um, you know, in, in Italy, support for leaving the EU or the, or the Eurozone is more like 30% or maybe even less. So, I, you know, this is a, a, an issue that isn't going to go away. But I, I don't think at the moment there's a sort of head of steam that would uh, lead me to lose a lot of sleep over, you know, a fundamental breakup of the euro. Uh, let's be clear, you know, Italy leaving the eurozone would be an absolute catastrophe for it, both Italy and everybody else in the eurozone. Right. I, I just think it's unlikely at this point.